Hi everyone, my name is Raymond Tu. I'm a PhD student at ASU Cybersecurity. My project aims to stop robocalls and spam calls by providing verification to telephone calls. Everyone hates robocalls. They're not only annoying, they're also hurting consumers and businesses. In the recent years, many people have reported a scam known as the fake IRS agent scam that threatens people with fake IRS lawsuits to extort money and steal their personal information. There is also another type of scam known as the credit card verification scam that calls people with spoof caller IDs and audio from the credit card issuing bank in order to steal their credit card and personal information. Because of these scams, many consumers and businesses have reported losing significant amounts of money. Long before these scams became an issue, the government enacted several laws aimed at stopping telephone spam and scams. Furthermore, with the establishment of the National Do Not Call Registry in 2003, it allowed consumers and businesses to opt out of unwanted telephone calls. Unfortunately, all these efforts have so far failed at stopping the growth of telephone spam. Today, the National Do Not Call Registry receives about 200,000 robocall complaints each month. And millions of people recently reported that the Do Not Call list does not work. According to a recent report by the FTC, the amount of phone fraud complaints more than doubled in a matter of just two years, whereas email fraud complaints have dramatically decreased over the same period. And in 2015, more than 75% of the reported fraud attempts are made over phone communication. We would like to provide a solution to this problem. As a start, we looked at available existing defenses. One of the most readily available type of defense is a call blocker, which automatically blocks the calls by creating a blacklist of caller IDs. Unfortunately, today, this type of defense still frequently let unwanted calls through because the spammers are now using spoofing technology to circumvent these type of defenses. In fact, most spammers today are using fake caller IDs with their robocalls and scams. As most telephone spam defenses today, including law enforcement, rely on user feedbacks, caller ID spoofing has made identification and user feedbacks completely irrelevant. Therefore, we believe the key to solving the telephone spam problem is to provide accountability in caller IDs. When visiting websites such as your bank's website or PayPal, the padlock indicator displayed in the address bar of web browsers provides users with immediate indication that the website is not spooled, and is therefore safe to enter your personal information such as the username and password. In Gmail and other email clients, the key icon security indicator also provides an immediate indication that the email is not spoofed and comes from the actual sender. The goal of our project is to bring such security feature to the telephone communication. As shown in example, we're working on implementing a caller ID security indicator for incoming calls from verified senders. The caller ID is also used in SMS and many other smartphone applications. With a similar approach, we can implement such feature to all types of communication that uses the caller ID. There are three key benefits to this solution. First, with the immediate indication of a verified source, the recipient can decide whether or not to answer the call. Second, with the awareness of caller ID verification, it promotes vigilance for caller ID spoofing. And finally, it provides a foundation for defenses such as caller ID blockers to stop unwanted calls based on the caller ID information. Right now, there is a severe lack of accountability in telephone identities. Until that changes, we are still going to have vast amounts of robocalls and scam calls hurting consumers and businesses. Thank you for watching.